Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome to the Inktober 2016 special, I guess you could say. So these are videos I'll be uploading for the entire month of October, and they'll be somewhat within the week. I'll be uploading them every four days, and I made an announcement regarding this, so you can just check that video out. It's in the description link there. And so that's where you'll find the upload schedule and the recording scheme. So for this video, it's from day 1 to day 4, and right now we're doing day 1, which the theme is fast. And in line with that, I do some running. Simple enough. So the materials that I'm using are, well to sketch, I used a Pilot Color Eno colored lead on a mechanical pencil, and I also used a normal black lead. For lining, I'm using the Unipin uh, Fine Liner of 0.4 thickness. Later, I'll be using the Sakura Micron Pigma Brush Pen to create some dimensions and thickness to the lines. And then for quote-unquote coloring, I'll be using the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens. They're Inja ink, so I believe I'm still well within the rules regarding that. The original intent with this piece is that I wanted to make a piece that's very dynamic with a lot of motion and energy and I wanted to this I wanted to convey that through the background. Except I screwed up a little and made it a bit too curved and too complex and interweaved with each other so it no longer looked like speed lines how I really wanted it to look like the speed lines you see in manga and anime and comics. But and I screwed up. But I still think it looked pretty good in the end, but it didn't really convey the original idea I had for it. It actually looks a bit more like a horror background now. So the colors that I'm using for the background are the really cool bluish grays. These aren't the yellowish ones. I didn't really take note of what colors I used since I just didn't take note of them. Eventually, I'll start using the other colors of the pit artist pens to act as accents to the line work and all of that. But my goal for Inktober is to make the piece finished with the lines being the main focus. Because usually my pieces are colored and very rarely do I really do lines that could stand on its own. So the goal, my goal at least for Inktober is that I'll make pieces where the lines look finished and that's the end of it. If ever I do use color, they'll only be accents or little things to make it more vibrant. And yeah, so let's see if I'll be able to complete that goal by the end of the month. So, we are nearing the end of day 1. Stick around for a few seconds so that you can watch the next day, day 2. 3, 2, 1. Right, welcome back. Or, thanks for staying. And this day 2 now, this is... This is themed noisy. And I modified that theme a bit to include words like noise, static, and the like. 
So I guess you could guess by that explanation, I'll be using the static that you would see on TV or that jittery image thing. Like when you go to a channel that's no longer airing, like in the middle of the night, you wouldn't, it's just shh, and there's this little black and white effects. I plan to use or utilize that effect on this piece so it turned out very tedious and very time consuming. I took around 2-3 hours to finish th no, more. I took 4 hours to finish this, which is usually how much time I take on a colored piece on a much bigger canvas. So yes, I did put a lot of effort in this one, I say I could say that. I did cut out a good portion of the more repetitive parts because you guys don't need to see that. I just included the start and the end and a bit of the process so you could see what I did and how to get that effect. Basically I used stippling on the background and I was using techniques like cross hatching on some other parts and the goal was to emulate or at least use the techniques in comics or manga, especially the black and white manga that you would use tones but I'm using cross hatching and manual dotting for my piece because I don't have toning paper or stuff like that. I am proud of how it turned out though. Um, I wasn't completely sure if I would get the effect that I wanted but I did and it does have this noisy busy static feel. It's a bit jarring and jittering and it was, I got what I wanted basically. Um, day one didn't turn out so well, or it didn't turn out how I wanted it to turn out, but day two went my way. My hand hurts though. It really does. <laughs> you could say I have a newfound respect for people who do stippling. of ink on one of my pens so I switched from a 0.4 thickness to a 0.5 thickness pen. Don't worry it's an old pen I've had that for two years I also use that for notes in class so it is bound to run out. It served me well. You will be remembered. Uni pen 0.4 pen. So we are nearing the end of day 2. Again, stick around for a few seconds so that you can watch day 3. Okay, let's start with day 3. So the theme for today is collect, which I expanded into collection. And I had a pretty good idea from the start what I wanted to do. I did modify however how it's presented. Originally I wanted to do a very noir and dark and heavy shadows and atmosphere type of thing. But I realized that for the past two days, I've been doing something rather dark and with strong grays and blacks and shadows. So I wanted to do something very light and airy and somewhat pleasing to look at. I'm also building up the techniques from the past few days. I'm using color and cross hatching and line weights now. So it's become a slow build up of the techniques that I utilize per day. We'll see how long I can keep that up. I also found a new technique in recording. So if the recording style kind of changes midway in this video, it's because I made use of the time lapse function, which I forgot I had. And it made video editing so much easier because the file's smaller, it's faster, and even Premiere is not having a hard time keeping up with the file size anymore. So I think. I'll be using time lapse more in the future, and yeah. Originally, I wanted to do something that's just purely perfume bottles, because 
my mom likes collecting it to some extent except she lost half of her collection somewhere along the way in life and i thought i wanted to make use of that idea but then i realized that i had very little knowledge about perfume bottles and design so it became a mix of things that i kind of knew about kind of saw mix of shampoo bottles modified to look like perfume and i i guess it gave it more variety because perfume bottles have a tendency to be very um either smooth or edgy or elegant but i guess adding cans here and there kind of gave it a bit more variety it's also the first time i'm using this very very thin um weight sakura micron pigma pen that's the point two or three either which i forgot which one it's a point two or three one so it's very thin it's very great it's great for very small details like in this piece i'm also gonna use some colored pencils for the background and i'll be using the favorite castle classic colored pencils and the favorite castle pit artist pens just to give it some more definition and a little bit of color into it So, I hope you guys stick around for day 4. I know it's a lot of videos, but um, I really didn't want to spam you guys with everyday videos. So, 3, 2, 1. So, if you've made it up to this point, thanks for staying. I know it's been really long. It's longer than my usual videos, but um, don't worry. This is the last day for this video. You have to wait under four days before the next one comes out so day four was themed hunger and originally i wanted a character who had this model pose like you'd see in magazines and i wanted her to have her mouth wide open and like kind of gas but not really like her hands are supposed to be lightly touching her lips to kind of signify or point towards her mouth but since I decided to do the pic in a zoomed out view, it didn't really translate as properly as I originally intended. So I decided to not label it as hunger. I decided to, it to be another, just another sketch or a drawing. But originally it was hunger and yeah. But I kind of do like how it turned out since I really wanted to draw her full body in it. So it was between sticking to the, to the theme or doing the post that I wanted to do. Also, I guess you noticed by now that my lines are red this time. I suddenly remembered they had the Dong A fine liner water-based ink pens that I've had since high school. And I decided to try them out since black can get a little boring and having colored lines seem to give it more life again i'm using the faber castell pit artist pens which are in ink brush markers to just give it a little bit more color i really enjoy inktober so far i haven't panicked or <laughs> anything like that so far and yeah it's been fun so i'll be showing all the pictures in a few seconds so please stick around for that so this day one which is fast day two which was noisy or noise day three which was collect or collection and day four which was hunger i hope you guys enjoyed follow me on tumblr instagram deviantart and i'll see you around